That's you. Uh, hey, welcome to the Covered Bridge Music Hour. This is Joey, and I'm here with Rick. Yeah, yeah Kevin's in the other room there trying to lay down some guitar or something. He's, so wor- he's working. Left us to our devices. That's okay. Yeah. We can handle it. I'm digging it. Uh, thanks for tuning in, folks. And um, <laughs> what we're... <laughs> It's all right. I can always edit. Yeah, he's a uh, he's usually handling this part. I'm the co- I'm the color man. I make make the jokes and uh, everybody laughs. Now we're gonna start off. Uh, you know this this set. Um, this week is the International Blues Challenge, and uh, a couple of guys from the, the local area here are competing in the International Blues Challenge, and heading down to Memphis. And uh, our good friends uh, from Lowercase Blues are gonna be down there representing the Central Delaware Blues Society. And uh, Billy Pierce, the Billy Pierce Band, is going to be down there representing the uh, Phoenixville uh, Blues Society That's out cool. of southern Pennsylvania there. You know, i got to apologize. Why is that? I have no music from Lowercase Blues. Oh, man, I have to get on those I'm guys. i reach out to them guys. Yeah. I'll, mm-hmm. I'll text them here in a minute. Okay. Get some CDs. But we do have the Billy Pierce, so we're going to play a few songs from him. Yeah, his uh, CD, uh, Back to the Delta. Back to the Delta. It's got a lot of great players on it. He's, uh, he's, uh, you know, made friends with a bunch of players and from the New Orleans area, and and uh, just offhandedly asked everyone, "Hey, would you play a song on my right. CD?" And they all said yes. Great horns. So, and there's some killer stuff. The uh, Bonarama's on there. Uh, Sly guitar, great. Sonny Landreth is on there. Uh, Waylon Thibodeau. There's a bunch of great, new, you know, New Orleans guys down there and, and playing on his record and really uh, doing. Put a nice project together, and then uh, yesterday or or last week, I was up to. Uh, they had a little fundraiser for Billy at the Pale Dog Tavern up in Newark, and uh, had a killer crowd and a bunch of great guys came out and played. And uh, I'm not sure what kind of money they made, but I'm sure they made a little bit of money. And they're raising money to help, basically send him. help them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean yeah. the blues. How it works typically is a blues society that you compete from if the winner would get a certain amount of money whatever they can afford really mm-hmm. and a lot of times it's it may be enough to cover the hotels or a, f- a plane ticket or something like that but the trip down there it costs a lot of you know you got to stay in a hotel for four days and four or five days sometimes and you know it's plane fare for three or four guys and and then you have to eat three meals a day and get back and forth and you know hotel and there's you know, some guys ran a car and all that stuff. Sounds like you're singing the blues, man. Yeah, it's you know, it's it's not cheap to go down there, and you know, it's really, you know, you're down there, not really on vacation either, right? You know what I mean? It's really business. You know, if you're serious about it, mm-hmm. you know, you're down there conducting business, and and uh, it's a, that's you might get enough money to get down there, but you still got to get back, right? So uh, it's it was a you know, it's cool to get together and you know help raise a, a little bit of money to help those guys get down there and at least get some good ribs and there you go get back get back in one piece you know and you had to mention food i haven't eaten yet hey man ah. we'll get something on the break there you go well, let's play a couple songs from billy pierce how about that yeah got uh give me a dollar and tojo awesome great songs we'll be back all right give me a dollar give me Fear. 
show you might like to see Watch me dance
says he plays for Jimmy. He also plays for God. He tells of his misfortune, Vietnam and no job. He tells of all the drinking drugs he's liking every day. Then back to the shelter, check in by six o'clock. The man's a treasure gem on the eastern shore. And people come from miles around to see him play guitar. They call him Tojo. The people call him Tojo. Songs for a dollar or a dime And he don't care As long as he gets his cheap red wine He plays the same tune He puts it to a hundred songs Strumming on his four string in the cold all day long The man's a treasure gem on the eastern shore miles around to see him play guitar they call him Tojo the people call him Tojo Tojo the people call him Tojo Tojo the people call him Tojo The people call him Tojo Welcome back, folks. You're listening to the Covered Bridge Music Hour. That was uh, Billy Pierce. Billy Pierce is heading up to uh, Memphis this week for the International Blues Challenge. We wish him a lot of luck. Yeah, man. Good luck, guys. Chris Miller and JT, those guys all together uh, kicking ass down there. How many pieces is his band? Uh, it's a three-piece band. Mm-hmm. He's got a bass, bass player and a drummer, killer drummer, and then Billy plays guitar and sings. So, yeah, wish him a lot of luck. Good luck, guys. Cool. So what's news, Joey? Oh. Staying busy? Yeah, you know, the new year's starting off with a bang and just, you know, busy at work and busy playing and, you know, got Christmas all torn down in the house and yeah. so it's on to the next <laughs> next house project, you know. The, the torture never stops, man. It's a, always a, the, on to the next thing. Got a couple gift cards for Lowe's, so there should be go. able to pull off the next project without paying any money out you know that's cool working on any uh cool gear yeah i've been working on this cool guitar at work uh yeah it's it's been like a long-term project just trying to find parts for the thing is really impossible it's an old vox uh vox hurricane wow and it's a guitar built in italy made in italy uh in the 60s you know it's kind of got that sort of a melted fender mustang sort of <laughs> looking thing you know it yeah. kind of has that fenderish sort of look to it but uh strange pickups strange control pots and all that strange knobs and really uh stuff you can't really get you anymore. can't get it anymore right uh it's a challenge been a challenge but i finally got it uh all wired up today and got the uh kind of the main pieces all back together and i'll be stringing it up and doing the final setup on it tomorrow do you know what year it is i'm not sure 60s it, it's 60s yeah that's cool mid, mid 60s i would think uh 
I was looking at, actually, I'm still looking at, I offered the guy 100 bucks. He wanted $200. I think it was two, $200 for a 60s K Strat copy. Okay. Yeah. Right. And, uh, <clears throat> but it up near the neck in the back, it's cracked no, or yeah. had been repaired. Right. So I found one on uh, Reverb, that music store on right. Reverb, and uh, they had one for 150 bucks. So I wrote to him and I said, hey, would you take uh, 100 bucks? I can get one just about brand new uh, for 150 So he wrote me back and said 125 Guys from Claymont up, right. up New right. Wilmington there. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. So uh, what do you want to play next? Well, we're kind of on the blues tip. Uh, yeah. What do you got? Uh, How about some Blues DeVille? That sounds good. I like yeah. those guys. Little John Huff. Eric and, uh, and Denny and those guys. Mm -hmm. Better known as uh, Eric Tipton was the creator of most of this music. Awesome. Yeah. And uh, I, I can't remember the name of the CD because I think I was telling you earlier, they don't send us CDs much anymore. Just send the MP3s. <laughs> yeah, they just yeah. send you the email, tracks. Email, yeah. yeah. The but days of holding the album cover are long gone, my friend. First track is called uh, Ballad of Big Mac, which I, I really like. It's got a really cool pounding cool track. And then the uh, second track is uh, Old Cars. Old Cars, all right. Yep. Here's a little John Huff, Blues the Bill. My name is Big Mac, I want you Cadillac, son, won't you make me a deal? My name is Big Mac, I want you Cadillac, now you know how I feel. I want to pull back the seat, grab the wheel, put the top down and make the squeal. My name is Big Mac, I want you Cadillac, son, won't you make me a deal? show was broke and he was flashing money at me where well, we both sat down to negotiate and closed on a final deal but i heard him sing driving my caddy away top down behind the wheel my name is big mac i love your cadillac thanks for making a deal my name is big mac i bought your cadillac to me for a steal Oh, I put down the seat I flip the wheel I put the top down And I make a squeal My name is Big Mac I bought you Cadillac Lord, won't you make me a deal Oh, my name is Big Mac I bought you Cadillac Some thanks for making a deal My name is Big Mac I bought you Cadillac Now I know how it feels I grab the wheel, I put the top down and I make her squeal. My name is Big Mac, I got me a Cadillac. Thanks for 
Right here on Cover Bridge Music Hour on Digital Street Radio. Yeah. Hey, Joey, by the way, uh, did you know that if you go to digitalstreetradio.com, you can actually listen in to prior show segments? We have the archives up and running now. They're up and running. Cool. Right now, uh, let's see, we have uh, the January 5th show. That's uh, six segments, I think. They're broke down to about 10 minute segments. All right. And then uh, the 12th. That will be uh, available. Today's show. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. I mean, last week's show. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Modern technology, yeah. folks. Hey. <clears throat> Talk about a time machine. Yep. So, uh, you know, since we were on this blues trip here, uh, I, I really I really love this song. As a matter of fact, if you remember correctly, uh, Ain't Got a Clue was the song that I used to open my show with. Okay. I love that song, mm-hmm. but we're not going to play that one. But since we're talking blues, I figured we'd bring in the Nothing But Trouble Do a little City. Nothing But Trouble, yeah. The shameless self-promotion machine that we have going here. It, it's funny that you said that because Kevin last week says, So, Rick, uh, what's the first thing you think of when you think of local music? I said, Ricky and the Rockets. He said, oh, shameless plug, shameless plug. I said, no, oh, I'm sorry, nothing, I mean, uh, cover bridge. Oh, that's even worse, he says. <laughs> hey, man, nobody else is going to do it for us. We might as well do it ourselves. Hey, right? even the big guys are doing it. Yep. Yeah, so what's what's uh, what's the story about this CD? Um, that was our, our first CD, Nothing But Trouble's first CD. Uh-huh. And um, uh, we uh, we hooked up with... Mark Moss, you know, Mark had Target Studios. Yeah. And um, at that time, he was in the, set up in the Baby Grand in Wilmington. And, you know, the Grand Opera House. Mm-hmm. They have the, the Grand Opera House, the big theater. They, on Next to it, they have the Baby Grand, which is a more intimate setting, but it's a big stage with, you know, a theater, smaller cool. theater. And he had his uh, studio set up in that area at that time. And um, we recorded in there and, you know, made the CD there. And uh, 
It was a lot of fun. It was neat, neat environment to record in. Now, was he using <clears throat> tape or was he doing the dats by that time? No, we were. He was into the. Uh, was it digital? It's recording? a digital recording at that time. <clears throat> yeah, I yeah. think he was using the uh, uh, Tascam thirty eights or eighty eights. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, use those little digital tapes. Yeah, he used to use the the dats and all that stuff, mm-hmm. and uh, but then he he had I can't remember what it was called, but it was all com- you know on the computer at that time, and uh, he's a really great engineer. You know, Mark's got a great ear and uh, really did a great job for us on that. Oh, it's I love the CD, and then uh, we also recorded our second CD with him too, uh, and then he had moved out of there back into his his home, and it, which was a little it was interesting too because it was you know we're spread out a lot farther and right you know the the way it was set up he had his engineer you know his control room upstairs and then all the recording stuff would happen in the basement but uh we re- ended up getting two great cds and you know they each had their own kind of magic so to them what mm-hmm. year was this recorded gosh i don't even remember rick uh, was it the 90s or 2000 no nah, it was in the 2000s mm-hmm. excuse me yeah we started this band like 2006 or something like that after I was torn with Chubby, we, you know, I came home and was looking to put something together. So that's and, cool because yeah. I really like this band. Who was in this version? It's uh, Billy Myers on the drums, uh-huh. uh, Chris McAfee on guitar uh, and vocals, um, Greg Hawhey on bass and vocals, and myself playing guitar cool. and singing. So cool. Billy also sang too. That was kind of the <clears throat> thing where we put the band together was everybody sang. Right. Every, everybody could front the band pretty much, you know what I mean? So not one guy is holding all the, you know, all the power or, or having to do all the work, you know right. what I mean? So, and then right. we get the big four-part four, four part harmonies and all that stuff going, too. That's a hard job to do, too, doing it by yourself. If you got to be really good to do that in right. four hours. And we're not, we're not that good, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't believe a word he says. If you haven't seen nothing but trouble, you got to get out there and see him. Now, uh, I hope you don't mind, but I've taken the liberty of picking, since we're doing twofers, I've, okay. I've picked two songs. What do you got? Um, Missing You. Oh, that's fun. That's a fun song. And I, I'm not going to go into it, but there's a part at the end that I really love. <laughs> and then uh, this time around. Oh, great so That's going to give us a nice little break. Cool. So uh, we're Good. listening to Digital Street Radio, right? Yep. Cover Bridge Music Hour, and here's Nothing But Trouble. Here we go, boys. <laughs> I come home from work My house is a wreck It's been three long, long weeks Since she left I don't cook So I guess I don't eat When I lay my head down I can't sleep clubs and I've stayed out late I ain't gonna lie to you baby but since you left me I had to go out on one or two dates but every time I look into some sweet little girl's eyes all I can see is you and there can be no denying baby I'm missing you Missing you, yeah, 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 yeah. Baby, I'm missing you. Baby, I'm missing you.
not do to get that woman back in my arms. Man, I would give up nearly everything I got to get that woman back for one more night. I would give up Monday night football. I would stop running around drinking with the boys. I mean, there ain't nothing. I mean, nothing I would not do to get that woman back for one more night. I'd walk the dog. I'd wash the floor. I'll do the dishes even more. I'll make the bed. I'll mow the lawn. I'll never do that woman no more. As far as to get down to her mama's house on a Saturday morning, I would take her mama shopping at the Kmart, the Walmart, the Acme, all them places. Oh, my big brothers over here, they tell me the only way you're gonna get that woman back is by spending some money on her. And I said, Well, that's good, that's good, I can do that. So I ride on up to the mall. Man, I go in the head company, I go in the JC Penny, I go in the Saks Fifth Avenue. I can't find nothing for that woman nowhere. The next thing I know, I'm looking over and there's a bar right there in the middle of the mall. And just as I'm getting ready to go in, I see it. Big giant gold letters right there in front of me. Should have seen it the whole time. That was Victoria's Secret. Well, I sashayed my way on in there and I start looking up on the wall. Man, they got all this stuff up there displayed, don't you know? And it seemed like to me the smaller that stuff got, the more it cost. But by the time I looked out of that store, I looked like Santa Claus himself. Ho, ho, ho. But I wasn't done yet. Oh, no, no. I went to the liquor store. I got me three bottles of that Dom Perignon stuff. Called me $185 a bottle. So I bring it on home. I'm cooking. I'm cleaning. And here come my baby knocking on the door. So I let her in and I set her down in a chair. I start serving her dinner and drinks. I'm giving her a couple of them presents, being real nice to her and all. And I eased up around behind that woman, go to lay my hands down on her shoulders. You know, give a little neck rub, a back rub. You know what she done, boys? She turned around, she looked me straight right in the eye. You know what she did? You know what that woman done did? She jumped up like a scared sheep from Cecil County, Maryland. <laughs> so I had to do it. I reached down in the bottom of my liquor cabinet and I grabbed me a bottle of chicken whiskey. What's that? Chicken whiskey, it makes the men cocky and the women want to lay. <laughs> thing you want to do is tell your woman you're going to give her chicken whiskey. She will not drink it. So I told her it was some fine liqueur that I had purchased all the way in the south of France. So there I am trying to, trying to get the cork off on this thing. I got a drywall screw in there and a hammer and I'm, I'm tugging, I'm pulling, I'm trying to get that sucker off and, and, and here it come. Whew. So I, I real slow like I, I, I poured her a shot. A big one. She picked it up, she smelled it, and she drank it straight down. She starts smiling at me. So I go to pour her another shot. Man, she don't want it. She reached over, she grabbed that chicken whiskey around her neck, and she starts drinking it right out the bottle. Things is looking up from me. I eased up around behind that woman again and I went to lay my hands down on her shoulders. I could feel the heat coming off of her body. So I wrapped my arms around that girl real slow and I kissed her right on the side of her neck. And then I kissed her on her cheek. And then I kissed her on her other cheek. And then I kissed her on her other cheek. I got some nice and tight close to that girl I'm kissing every inch of her whole body man things is looking up for me and then I looked her straight in the eye and I told her this and I meant every single word that I said I looked her straight in the eye and I said I said baby baby I said baby baby
Alright guys, I finally got the level. Let's uh let's do a take. <laughs> you motherfucker! <laughs> I'll never be able to do that again. Well that's it. That's <laughs>
time around Hey, welcome back. You're listening to the Cover Bridge Music Hour right here on Digital Street Radio. I'm here with uh, Ricky Rocket, and uh, my name's Joey. 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 Joey who? I'm just Joey. I'm like Cher and there Madonna. <laughs> <laughs> it's a household name. I got you, man. <laughs> so listen, I was uh, strolling through the tracks here, and guess who I ran into? Who's that? Uh, Snarky Dave. Uh, our friend Snarky Dave. Yeah, man. Awesome. His uh, Snarky Dave and the Prickly Bluesman had a CD out this year. Actually, I think it was released at the end of 13. Right. Basically, we pushed it in 14, but uh, called Big Snark. Big Snark. And you were involved in this, right? Yeah, Dave uh, asked me to produce the record and uh, ended up playing, you know, guitar on a lot of things and just off the cuff, <laughs> you know, it was kind of fun. It was first, I mean, first time as for me uh, officially as a producer, I was involved, you know, heavily in the Nothing But Trouble CDs too, mm-hmm. you know, and a couple other things. And... uh but Dave asked me. We were, I was up and watching a friend, or I think I was playing with somebody up, you know, just to sitting in with a band, and he was there, and he pulled me aside and said, "I'm not getting any younger, man. I want to do this record, and I got these songs, and would you help me out?" I'm like, "Hell yeah, you know." So, and it ended up being a pretty fun project, challenging in a lot of ways, but uh, it ended up being a really ended up being a really cool CD, and the songs are great and. I think the production's pretty good, and oh yeah, and overall it ended up being a pretty good success. So, so what what kind of hat did you wear uh, as a producer? And the reason I'm asking is because I remember in the old days how it was, but today, I mean, for example, what kind of hat did you wear? Well, basically, you know, I, I just started by going to the rehearsals and seeing what they had for material right and you know they played me a dozen songs or whatever that night and just to get the thing started i said well these are strong the picked like the three strongest things right and said start rehearsing them and we're going to track those songs and um you know there was some issues with some players and stuff and ended up you know it's sort of my job to be the bad guy and say look uh you know you're not really strong on this we're going to bring somebody in a session player and we ended up you know getting you know killer drummer and some other players to come in and and, you know the thing about doing a record is it's forever right and i've made a record where every time i hear it i cringe you know like (laughs) oh my god it's like (laughs) wish i would have changed that back in the day you know and it's important to have it strong right from the beginning so that was kind of it in my you know put on my plate too to kind of coordinate right who was going to you know cover these parts you know right and then once the recording stuff started you know dave he you know he couldn't listen to anything played back you know he'd be like we're gonna you know he'd do a track and then he's like i can't listen to this he'd go out and have a smoke and I, it'd be up to us to right you know engineer and i to listen to it and say is it strong is everything tight is it clicking whatever and right. if not you know we say okay then let's go back and punch in here or just record re-record the track or whatever right. and you know it just that's a big process right every song is like that well big. the reason i was asking is because i had read an article about six months ago and the role of a producer has you know not only not only has those responsibilities, but they've also become a babysitter. Oh yeah, it's you a, know you're a the, therapist. Yeah, you're the therapist, certainly. You know, <laughs> and um, you know, that's a, a part, referee. It's part of it. You know, it was trying to get. I wanted Dave to play. You know, majority of the guitar stuff right. on the CD. You know, it's your CD, and I want wanted you him to play leads and stuff. And <laughs> you know, funny things happen. You know, I'm trying to get him to play lead, and he doesn't feel that he's a strong lead player, and so, you know, I'm trying to show him some stuff like here, you can maybe try this. And I just picked up a guitar in there and plucked, like put a little, like a G deck amp yep. on a setting and 
played through a couple solos and they were just they were keepers yeah it was like it just happened off the cuff and right. it was it was cool that kind of magic thing was kind of cool you know when that happens it's fun but i was just trying to sh- give him some ideas of what he sure. could play you know and he ended up th- he did play some solos on the on the cd and you know that's what i was kind of pushing for i to push his limit of what he right. felt he could do you know what i mean so and not to get off the snarky dave but do you find that uh I'm going to say inexperienced musicians, when they write their own music, they they generally have that attitude of, well, I, I really can't play lead like this. And, and the reason I ask is because I feel <clears throat> that if you're writing your own music, and like when you told Dave, go ahead and play the lead, the, the purpose here is, especially with blues, you just play what you feel. It's right. not necessarily a you matter don't have of to, have speed to be, or technique. Right. You don't have to be the baddest guitar player on the right. planet. It's the you, you got to play something that fits there in go. there with the song that's emotional that comes out of you. You know what yep. I mean? And, and uh, we ended up didn't getting a couple cool things out of them. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, I, I love the CD. And one of the, one of the things that hit me right off the bat is I heard the Hammond. Yeah. You know, he had Edgar come in on that. Yeah. Right? yeah. Edgar Fernandez. Yeah, he in. did a great job. Well, once again, I've taking the liberty of picking a couple tracks okay well i take that back no i picked you, up. you did mention that you yeah. like the bitchin and that that's a really cool song yeah that was a lot of fun to do too uh um the story behind that is if you when you're listening to the song you hear the ladies in there bitchin'. and uh the comments we did a session <laughs> with the, the girls and when they first came in they were they started and they were pretty shy and and uh but it's as they got more comfortable, <laughs> they as they got more comfortable, it really just poured out. And God, we were on the floor rolling around. It was it was so funny. And then going back to producing after all the sessions were done, then we're mixing and we we're putting these comments in strategically for you know the right. the, the uh, impact. You know, oh yeah, and God, oh man, it was so funny. And uh, it you know the song speaks for itself. Oh yeah, so. it's great. Then the other one that it's a uh, it's a lo- it's a love song. Is it really? <laughs> is, is that what you call it? <laughs> and the other one, of course, is my favorite. What's Big it? Girl? Oh, that's a great song. Yep. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's a great song. All right, so we're gonna listen to Snarky Dave right here on the Cover Bridge Music Hour. You know I love this woman. She's looking mighty fine. And even when she's far away, can't keep her off my mind for all her bitching. Where were you when I needed you? My baby's bitching. Cause we'd have to tell you, you should know. No matter what I do or say, she'll just bitch at me anyway. She's bitching, 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 bitching. Every place I don't mind Spend my cash Keep her off my case Keep her from my bitch It's my money too My baby's bitchin' How can you never make me dinner? Through summer, winter, spring and fall I can't do nothing right at all She's bitchin', 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 bitchin' What did you just say to me? You don't love me Your dirty laundry boy and then take out the trash This week should turn to vacuum Don't you smoke up all the stash or she'll be bitching You know we have a dishwasher My baby's bitching I do everything around here I've been working hard today She's got nothing nice to say She's bitching, 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 bitching I love this woman, she's looking mighty fine And even when she's far away, can't keep her off my mind for all her bitching I could've had any guy ended up with you My baby's bitching I thought you said you'd be home in an hour No matter what I do or say, she'll just bitch at me anyway Through summer, winter, spring and fall, I can't do nothing right at all I've been working on the day, she's got nothing nice to say She's bitching, 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 bitching Bitch. Asshole. Don't touch me. I'm not a 
I just did my I nails. could have gotten any guy, but I ended up with you. Why don't you like my mother? mother and the dog? Married for money at least once. Aren't you listening to me? What are you doing? <laughs> Young stuff. I'm talking about that love stuff. The cuddly, plump, and soft stuff. No skinny, full of self stuff. I need a big girl carry me around the world just like you. Like that old stuff That skinny old bag of bones stuff I think I'm all that stuff stuff Can't take care of myself stuff Don't want that too hot to handle Too cold to hold just like you Don't want that too hot to handle Too cold to hold just like you All right, folks, you're listening to the Covered Bridge Music Hour. That was Snarky Dave. Yeah, man. He's uh, kicking it out. Big girl bitches. <laughs> that was so cool. Yeah, it's a great, that was, great I bet that was a hoot, man. Oh, it was yeah. a lot of fun that night. And uh, God, it just turned out so good. And to be here and experience that, like to see the, the girls get more comfortable with, with all the jabs, you know what I mean? Yeah. It was a lot of fun, you know. And they were really on it by the end, you know. It was, it was a full-on... Uh, bitch session basically. So, <laughs> so let me get this straight now billy pierce is going to the wwe right no no uh, oh that's it, world it's wrestling the, it's yeah that's, sorry. A, that's a whole nother thing <laughs> maybe next year yeah, <laughs> after right. he pumps up no it's the uh international blues challenge all right held every year in memphis and he's going down there that's like think if we saw right the 20th to the 24th yeah it's uh, a yeah. january 20th through the 24th now what about lower case uh, uh, and lower, lower case blues mm-hmm, yeah, yeah they're also they they won the competition from the central delaware blues society and they're heading down there also to compete and uh we wish them a lot of luck cool um when is that that's coming up next like the same this, yeah this it's this week uh, they're, oh wow yeah it's the 20 20th through the 24th well that explains why they're not going down with billy pierce can't be in two places at one time. Yeah, yeah. Man. Well, oh, man. they'll they'll be down there competing against mm-hmm. Billy and and hundreds of other, you know, of hey, other you! of other blues acts. Kevin just walked by. He yeah. must be taking a break. Yeah. Hey, how you doing, Kev? I got done cleaning the studio. Can I come in now, guys? You can <laughs> if you want. We'll give you the white glove <laughs> test. <though. laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Kevin Nemeth. Hey. Good evening, everyone. I'm glad everybody's listening in. I know these guys got it under control. <laughs> you got it under control. <laughs> I gotta go back to finishing up my jobs. Is this the secret project you're working secret on? Project. All right, Uh-oh. all right. Well, Joey knows what it is too. He's just in here <laughs> with me tonight. <laughs> Thanks, Kev. So, uh, how about some Tony Rock stand up? Yeah, that, that'd be a good way to end mm-hmm. the show. He's got his uh, self-titled EP, Tony Rocks. Tony Rocks. Yeah, man. Uh, man cries. That's a great song. And uh, Blackwater Blues. Awesome. All right. You're listening to the Covered Bridge Music Hour. And we'll see you next week. Good night, everyone. Oh, but wait a minute.
we forgot. Hey, Kev, what do you got going on this week? Oh, not much. A uh, bunch of stuff in the studio. How about you, Joe? What you got going this week? <laughs> um, We're looking at the 19th. I heard that Valerie Dunkel's in this week, and uh, <laughs> that's about it. Kevin's, Kevin's oh. eavesdropping, isn't he? Yeah, so uh, we're looking at the week of 19th to the 25th. Gosh, um, I can't, hard to tell. Yeah, I can't remember. I, just, know, I know I'm at the touchdown on every Wednesday, oh, so yeah. I'll be doing that. And then, um, gosh, I may have a, a couple of days off on the weekend there. Are you serious? Yeah. Wow. No, Nothing but trouble, huh? No. I th- we were at Cat's Eye last weekend. I don't, I don't think I'm anywhere this week. Where there's and a- no more three-piece. Yeah, the trio's done, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Sorry to hear that, man. Hey, hey, man. Times change, and yeah. I'm kind of looking at, you know, moving on, doing something new, you know. There you go. There's a lot of cool music out that I really love, and, you know, it's time to start something fresh. And, uh, you know. By the way, I, I apologize for uh, missing you on Wednesday the uh, 7th there. That's all right. Yeah. Uh, we can't, were working can't, in Can't here win them all, man. By the time we got done in here in the studio, I was like, well, I'm not going to drive home. But anyway, and the show with some man cries and Blackwater Blues. Tony Rocks right here in Covered Bridge Music Hour, Digital Street Radio. See you next week. Good night.
washing good down the drain. You know the flood's coming when it starts pouring rain.